five kilometers. Traffic's starting to get a little heavier now. Yeah, now you've got some behind you too. Oh yeah, there's a way there are ways to win though. Yes. Welcome to Drumheller. Well, we made it. Jim, tired, retired old timer, taking it easy one day at a time. Well, thanks for joining us here in Drumheller. Well, we've been to Drumheller many times. We were here in 1977, 1986, uh, 2009, 2020, and now in 2023. But I'm going to go back to the 1977. Now that was two years after we got married. We got married on November 1st of 1975. 
and then we had a child in February and this is his first trip with his parents to Drumheller in 1977. So my wife was washing our uh, 1969 Mercury Marauder. Loved that car. You had to be careful driving that car as that 429 engine had lots of torque and it would spin them tires easy. So my wife here is washing the car, getting us ready. We're hooked up to the uh, soft top 10 trailer ready to go to Drumheller. So we visited the church for the first time, the Drumheller Little Church, which has been known to seat 10,000 people, but only six at a time. The opening date for this attraction was July 9th, 1958. The church contains six one-person pews with a pulpit in the front. It was designed as a place of worship and meditation and not just a tourist attraction. This church has been booked by couples for weddings and special ceremonies. We weren't in Drumheller very long that first time as we were headed east to Saskatchewan. So in 1986 we again went down to Drumheller but this time we had our whole family with us. All our children, all four children and uh, let's just uh, take you there in 1986 when we spent some time in Drumheller as a family. After spending some time on the highway, we decided to spend the night at the Bowdoin Heritage Rest Area Campground. I have silenced most of the audio in the background because in the background there was some uh, music playing. We had a bed set up in the back where we put the table down and it'd make into a bed. We slept either in that bed or on the floor. Campground isn't there anymore, but uh, if you look on Google Maps, you can see where it was. Unfortunately, it has been closed. It was closed in 2019 and uh, there's a uh, retail uh, going up there in A&W and some other uh, retail uh, stores. The next day, we continued on our journey to Drumheller, taking Highway 2 South and then going on Highway 27 East, 21 South, and then taking the Dinosaur Trail Secondary 837 to the Blairiot ferry. Oh, 
After climbing the hill from the Blee Riot Ferry, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, we went and visited Horse Thief Canyon. Please pause the video to learn more about Horse Thief Canyon. After leaving Horse Thief Canyon, we now headed to Drumheller and went and visited the little church, the same church we visited in 1977, but now we had all four children with us. My first video camera was this two-piece unit. The video camera was separate from the VHS VCR, which we were using in the van. So we visited Drumheller again in 2009. At that time, our children were all growing up and working on their own. We were traveling with a Dodge Caravan and a Bon Air tent trailer. We did stop at the little church that time. In 2015, we were traveling again to Drumheller again. We had our GMC truck and fifth wheel trailer. So now in 2020, now that I'm retired, we journey to Drumheller again. This time with Old Walter, our motorhome. Now there are a lot of other things you want to do when you're in Drumheller. One of them is to make sure you climb up inside the world's largest dinosaur named Terra. She stands an impressive 26 meters tall, she's 46 meters long, and this huge beast in itself is worth a visit to Drumheller.
If you want, you can climb up inside her, up into the, uh, up into her huge mouth, and to look out from her mouth onto the grounds below. You get to see what it looks like from the eyes of a dinosaur. So we did stop at the church again, just to see that it had recently been used for a special event. Oh, well, we made it to church, you can see. And uh, let's, uh, let's all go inside and uh, have a service. It's not Sunday, but hey, we can worship any day, right? Yes. So this church has held what? 10,000? Is that what it says on the sign? 10,000 people this shirt has held. But unfortunately, only six at a time. They got seating for six people inside. And as you can see, there's a actual service coming up here pretty soon on the 25th. sitting down here. Uh, I'm the only person here right now. Uh, I think uh, we got room for five more, so please come on. Oh, there you go. You can sit anywhere you want, ma'am. Well, thank you, sir. You want to sit over there? Yeah, I'll sit here. You'll sit there? Yeah. Okay. Are you down when I get up? Yeah, I don't know when, I don't know when the pastor is going to be here, <laughs> but uh, hopefully in a bit. Oh, well, here we are camping at uh, Dinosaur Trail Resort, and we spent one night here. Had a great visit with uh, Living Light RV, didn't we? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yeah. But right now we're getting ready to leave. Leaving in a few minutes here, and uh, I just thank you for joining us. We are. Tired, tired. <laughs> old timers. Okay. Thanks for watching. We're tired, retired, old timers. I'm Jim, the I'm tired, retired, 
husband and Sandra. Tired, retired, tired, retired wife. Old timer. <laughs> wife. Let's start from the beginning. Hi, I'm Jim. No, okay, no. Hi, thanks for watching. Tired, retired, old timers. I'm Jim, the retired, retired husband. I'm Sandra. Tired, retired wife. Yeah. And we are taking it easy. One day at a time. Thanks for watching. Bye.